Hey guys, how's it going? It is Shade from the Game Brawl, and today I'm just going to have a quick commentary about the future of gaming, and or, you know, the next gen if you want to be a hipster. But anyway, I want to tell you that my final decision on all this is um, what I'm going to be doing is moving to PC. I'm actually buying a PC, you know, building one and everything, and I'm getting that for Christmas. So, you know... There's tons of reason behind it, but mainly uh, that's what my friends are moving to. Um, plus, I I actually needed a new computer. I've been editing everything and doing everything on my laptop now, and it's really crappy and pooping out. So I'm gonna need a new computer, and this one will be great and fast and perfect. And you know, it's it's just kind of a better gaming experience. I mean, I played on gaming PCs already and it's immersive the graphics are amazing and it's beautiful like it's it's like t brings tears to your eyes how freaking beautiful battlefield 4 looks on a pc it's amazing but yeah i mean my friends are moving there and that's kind of what the joy i get in gaming i mean i'm not really a competitive mlg player so i don't really get joy in playing competitive you know whatever but if i do then it's on pc anyway so there i go and I'm, I know it's a lot of money, too, but I feel like it's worth it in the end, because I'm not just getting a gaming console, I'm getting a computer. So, it's I'd say it's worth it more than it would be to get just a console that can play video games, and that's about, that's about it, besides for the Xbox One that can watch TV and all that jazz. But I'd say a PC is a little more, uh, I don't know, better, better choice. So I'm not going to hate on the consoles. I think they're really cool, and I really want to get one. I think my brother might be getting a PS4, but whatever. You know, I'm getting PC, so yeah, Master Race. Anyway, I, I am kind of sad that I can't play Destiny and Halo, though. Like, Halo has been one of my favorite games, and Destiny is the maker of my favorite game. So it's it looks awesome, too, so... Congrats to all you console players. You better be getting Destiny because it's freaking amazing. So anyway, moving on. If we're going to be moving to next-gen consoles and, you know, PS4, Xbox One, and if anybody heard about the, the Steam Machine, the Valve Steam Machine by Valve, you know, the people who made Portal and everything, I don't really know what's going on with that. But anyway, uh, next-gen consoles have mainly been the Xbox One the PS4. Now... I don't know if you guys know, but the launch sales so far for the day one of PS4, it sold 1 million copies in just the US and Canada. Now, the Xbox One also sold a million copies, but that was worldwide. So, as you can see, there's kind of a fluctuation there of how many people are buying it worldwide. I mean, there's a lot more people worldwide than there would be in the United States and Canada, even though those are probably the biggest sellers. But anyway. Uh, the PS4 is probably out steady, steadily outselling the Xbox One as of right now. But I think the Xbox One, I don't know, I think it just has more features. I mean, obviously it has a higher price because of its Kinect and all the other things it can do. But for all that and the Kinect, it just feels more next-gen to me. Now, of course, there's all the problems that it's having with disk drives or whatever plus it's upscaled 720 and everyone talking about that but whatever and it just it seems more next gen like if i was going to go for next gen i'd probably want to get that just because i mean you can talk to your tv and move your hand and switch the volume off and on or whatever so i don't know that's kind of how i pictured next gen not really just graphics but yeah that's how i pictured it so anyway the ps4 you know it's having a lot of it's having not a lot of problems but having some problems right now just same thing with the Xbox One, and a thing nobody really knew about, but I kind of knew about it before the PS4 launch, is you can't record anything, or Sony will like sue you, or whatever. I'm not really sure how that works. It basically you can't record anything with maybe a PVR or using the in-game recording thing until like January or February, or whenever they're gonna fix that, something around there. So yeah, that's that's kind of a big downfall, especially since it's the you know the console for gamers. And you can't even record anything on it. But the Xbox can. Not being an Xbox fanboy or anything. Just saying. <laughs> and obviously the PS4 has a better price. Which I think is leading to its outselling of the Xbox One. And that's just because the Kinect, of course. It doesn't come with a an Xbox I or whatever. Or a PlayStation I, whatever it's called.
And, you know, the graphics are still better, so I'm guessing you could say it's for gamers. But, I mean, it, it's controversial, and I don't really want to... I guess, I guess we'll discuss it in the comments. Discuss what you guys think in the comments. I'd really like to hear this and, you know, hear what you guys have to say. But anyway, another big thing about consoles would be games. I mean, personally, not. I know it's not like a complete Xbox fanboy right now, but I believe Xbox has better games. And I'm just saying that because, you know, I, I looked at all the, the games and the, um, the exclusive, that's what I'm trying to say, exclusives, and Dead Rising is a pretty awesome game. I've been watching some live streams on that. It's hilarious. And then Halo, which is almost dead, but it was still one of my favorite games ever. So, I mean, even though it's it's dying, I still believe Halo 5 can come out and actually do good. Plus Halo Wars 2, if that's actually a thing. I'm not sure. But if it is, I'm hopping on that deal. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, the PS4 does have Steam. And I looked online. I don't think the Xbox has it. So, I mean, you can play games like DayZ and World of Tanks and other... PC games that you would play on Steam, and that means, you know, Steam sales, and I'm sure you can buy better games off there, or whatever, but, you know, so I'm going to wrap it up there, guys, if you like this commentary, uh, make sure to like the video, and check out uh, the videos and subscribe, so yeah, see ya.